Hi kids, how are you? We are so happy to see you all again on Eagle Kids Online Service. Yay, it's nice to see all of you. Are you ready for today's service? Of course they are. But before we start, let us fold our hands, close our eyes, and follow me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for today. We would like to start this service. Please bless every one of us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. So before we start this service, let's start with some exercise. But what kind of exercise? Today, we are going to play while exercising out our left and right brain. Wow, it turns out that our brains also need an exercise. But how to do it? Are we going to study? Mm, I don't want it. I want to play something fun. Easy there, Melissa. It's not what it looks like, okay? Brain gym is so fun and it needs us to concentrate. So kids, let's do the brain gym! Okay, let's stand up and do it! Okay, so let me show you how, okay? Here's number one. It's the first exercise, okay? The first one, you can give us number one and number five. Okay, number one and number five. And then switch it. One. And then switch it again. Okay. See? Okay. Ah. It's easy, right? Yes. Yeah, that's the number one. Okay, now it's number two. Same thing, but this one, you give us number seven, seven. and number five. But this seven, point to number five. Okay. Okay. And all I have, all you have to do is switch it again. Okay. Ah. Uh, Switch it again. It's easy, uh, right? You can do this, right? Yes, yes. I can do it. Okay. That's number two. Now, the last exercise. Number three. Okay. Please concentrate and pay attention. Okay. Raise your hand up and put it on your head. And then the other hand, put it on your shoulders. And same thing. You have to switch it. You have to do this. Uh, switch it again. Ah, I get it, I get it. Now let's do it, let's start it. Let's use some music to make it more fun. Okay, now the first exercise, okay? One and number five. Let's go. Switch. 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 Okay, now let's do the second exercise. Okay. okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now, the last one. Okay. One, two, three. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! Yay! We did it! Wow, it turns out that Bray Gyms really needs us to concentrate. I still made some wrong moves. It's okay, Melissa, but I can see all of those kids can do the Brain Gym well. Yes, and after doing the brain gyms, I feel so energetic. So now, let's praise Jesus together. Music! Let's praise Jesus together. Come on, clap your hands. My dad, you are mindful of me. That you hear me. When I call Is it true? Is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me? It's amazing I'm a friend of God I'm a friend of God I'm a friend of God He calls 
Jesus, I got Jesus.
Let's worship together. Thank you, Jesus. I love to praise your name. I love to praise your name. I love to praise. I love to praise your name, Jesus. I love to love you, Lord. I love to see your face. I love to see your face. I love to see your face, Jesus. I love to love you, Lord. With all my heart, I worship you. With all my soul, I worship you. With all my mind, I
Where is Boo Boo? <laughs> Be Rocky, I'm sorry I'm late. I was helping my mom at home. Be ah, it's okay. I thought you forget our appointment. Of course Ooh. not. I love playing with you because you're my best friend and you are so kind too. <laughs> Look what I have. Wow, looks this great. This is the book that I just bought. Let's Ooh. read it together. Okay. Boo Boo, look, hmm? someone is coming. Huh? Where? And, uh, I, I've, I've never seen him before. Do you know him? Hmm. Where? Where is he? He's right behind you. And he's alone right now. Hmm. hmm. What about if we get to know him and then we ask him to play together? Rocky, Ooh. we were going to read your new book. Just leave him alone. And I don't know who is him anyway. Huh. You sure? But <sighs> it seems like he doesn't have any friends. Come on, let's ask him to play together. Okay, okay. But after this, we read your new book together, okay? Sure, of course. Because I just can't wait anymore. Of course, let's go, hmm. let's go. Hi. Hi. Hi, let's play together. Hi, my name is Rocky, and this is my best friend. Hi, oh. I'm Boo Boo. Why are you alone here? Did you get lost? Um, hi. Be my name is Piki. Oink, oink. Uh, I didn't Be get lost. I just moved here, so I'm new and I don't have any friends. Oh, I see. So you are new in here? Then just let's play together. Be um, do you guys want to be my friends? Of course, we love to have lots of friends. Yes, it's always good to have more friends. The more, the merrier. Moo. Yay, finally, I have friends. I will tell my mom and dad that I have friends later. Later, oink, oink. later I will introduce you to my mom and my dad. Because they are very nice and they love me so much. Sure, I would love to. Hmm. Oink, oink. Okay, let's read my boot first. Oh, do you guys like to read too? Here, I also have a new book. Wow. Yay, now we have two new books to read. Thank you guys for being my friends. I love my friends. Let's say it together. I, I love, love my, my friends. friends. Okay, let's start by reading my book, okay? The story is about four best friends who love and care each other so much. Come on, let's read it together. <laughs> oink, oink. Hey everyone, happy Sunday. I hope you're having a wonderful day with your family, with your friends around. And today, today's word of God is really interesting because we're talking about loving our families. And some interesting thing is that we're not gonna talk about our family members today. Hmm. We're talking about our friends, woohoo! And so in today's topic, we're gonna talk about friendship and the power of friendship in God. And so we're gonna talk about Mark 2. And um, if you guys are looking through your Bibles, it says Jesus heals the paralyzed men, but actually it also portrays a friendship themed story. And so um, we see um, traits of faith coming out of these people. And so I'm going to read um, verse 4 to 5. So Mark 2, verse 4, 4 and 5. And it says, When they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they have made an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Okay, so um, the story begins with Jesus um, being in this house and a bunch of friends come over bringing their paralyzed friends. So people who are paralyzed can't move and so they, they can't feel their body and they're just lying down in this like thing. And so, so these friends bring the paralyzed friend over to Jesus and sees how packed it's so full of people that they couldn't seem to get the paralyzed man near Jesus. And so they actually took the second mile and dug a hole on top of the house and brought down their friend. And so that requires a lot of effort and work. And so what 
this story is telling us is that we should be the type of people who cares about our friends. So that's the first point for today's topic. It, it is for us to be caring friends. And so the faith of the friends is so powerful that they have the urgency um, for the friend to be healed by God. And so um, under such circumstances, they could have just given up and thought, well, we could probably come over again tomorrow and bring our friend to Jesus anytime besides today, because you know today is just too much people. But they didn't do that because they believe, because their faith believes that this our friend needs to be healed today. And so um, what they what they have done is that they put themselves aside and they put the need for the friend to be healed as their first priority. And so that is just an amazing thing we can learn from. It is to be caring and to put others' needs first before ours. And so um, our second point is that we should love our friends the way we love our families. And so in this theme, we learned um, ways for us to treat our family members with love and care. But the Bible is clearly telling us to do the same towards our friends. And so it really is all fun when we get to treat our friends the way we treat our families. Because, well, the Bible is basically telling us to look at our surroundings as our own flesh and blood, even our enemies. And so we should always bring the love of God we receive every Sunday or in our devotionals and to um, pour the love to our friends. And so um, one way we could do that in times like this, it might be really hard for us to um, meet our friends in person now. What you guys can do is that you can borrow your parents' phones and ask how they're doing. You know, start showing um, kindness and um, care and love to your friends. Um, ask them how, you, how they're doing. You can also have devotionals together. You could study together through Zoom. And so there's just so many ways we could um, love our friends the way we love our families. And um, I want to talk by experience. Um, I, I know that your age, we always, you know, friends come and go. We always change um, friend groups. I don't know if that, that's the thing for you, but it was for me. But you know what? Um, keep in mind that Christ-centered friendships are the ones that lasts in the heart forever. And so what does that mean? Um, like the story, the four friends wanted the friend to be healed. He wa they wanted the paralyzed man to be healed by Jesus. And so their only goal in that particular situation was to meet Jesus. And um, it ends with Jesus being pleased with this group of friends. And so um, another thing we can learn is to always um, let your friendship be based on um, the love of God. And all that means is to um, make sure that your friendship um, supports um, all the members in the group and to always um, care with the love of God, um, just as the group of friends did towards the paralyzed man. And so the two um, lessons we are learning today is to one, be caring friends, um, being caring means to just love them, have fun with them, and not condemn them, not being bad to them. And second, it is to love your friends the way you love your families. And so um, having these two um, notes in mind will help you get through a really amazing friendship. And in this theme, um, family. And so um, it's important that we put others' needs first to care for them wholeheartedly. And it's never too late for you guys to um, apologize maybe to some friends who might have hurt you in the past and it might be harder for you to love them. And so um, all apologizing is a really good method to let go um, pain. I don't know if you guys are going through some pain, but um, problems happen and school friendships are tough. And so, um, making sure that you guys are all put and really happy and all at the same place is a good idea. So again, care, be 
be caring friends and love them with the love of God. And so we're gonna end today's session with a prayer. So let's all bow down our heads and pray to God. Dear Jesus, uh, we wanna thank you for today's sermon. Of you've taught us to uh, be caring people towards our surroundings, not only to our friends, but to our, to our families as well. And Lord, please teach us Teach every one of us, um, all the viewers, all the children out there, um, to have the love of God and to be able to bring out that same love um, you gave us to our surroundings. And Lord, I pray so that um, you guide them into the life you have designated them into um, starting today. And I pray so that happiness, health, and peace follows wherever they go. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hello everyone! Welcome back to activity time and today we're going to make wayang together like that. Cute right? Okay, so now we're going to prepare our materials. We need all of these things here. Okay, if you're ready then we're going to start. First, you're going to draw a circle. You can use a plate or a round thing and then you're going to cut it until it turns into a circle. You cut all the edges until it turns like that. Next, you prepare your origami paper to make a heart. We're going to draw a heart. First step, you fold the origami paper in half and then draw the pattern a half heart and then you cut it you cut it until it turns into a heart wow and then you're going to paste it using double tape or glue And then you paste it to the circle like so okay and then you're going to start drawing if you're a boy you can draw a boy like that like the example but now I'm going to teach you how to draw the girl Take a piece of paper and then we start drawing. Okay, here's how to draw a girl. First, you draw a circle for the face and then give hair. Give it a ponytail and then draw eyes and mouth. Then you draw the dress and hands. Oh, and don't forget to add a heart on the dress. And draw the legs for it. And then you're done. Easy, right? Then you can color it in any color you like. Until it turns pretty, okay? But you have to make two. Remember to make two, okay? If you're a girl, you can draw two girls. If you're a boy, you can draw two boys. And then we're going to paste one of the drawing onto the left side of the circle. You can use double tape or glue. Right there. And then for the next picture, you take an ice cream stick or if you don't have one you can use wooden chopsticks and then you paste it using tape like that and then you will make a hole onto the circle so the wayang can walk but remember to ask your parents for help. Be careful. You take your ice cream stick or you can use a ruler and cut a hole using a cutter. But remember 
So ask your parents for help. And then, after you're done, it will create a hole like that. Then, you insert the picture into the circle. And then, you're done! Wow! Good job! And don't forget to write our big message for the day, which is, I love my friends! Wow! Good job, everyone! See you next week, and God bless you! Wow! It turns out that we have to take care of our friends no matter what their circumstances are. No matter whether they are happy or they are sad, we have to take care of them. Yes, that's true. A true friend show love by saying good things for them. Melissa, you are my friend who very kind. Thank you, Kevin. I also love being friends with you. Thank you. And you guys can show love to your friends after this service by calling them or send them a message giving compliments and good things for them. Okay, now let's say it together with me. I love my friends. Let's say it together again. I, I love, love my, my friends. friends. So, see you next week. Bye-bye.